KR F4. Okay, KRF4. Well, krypton brings eight electrons. F brings seven. Four times seven is 28. 28 plus eight is 36 electrons. I'm going to put KR there, F there, F there, F there. That's two, four, six, eight. 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36. Well, I end up with a structure which is krypton, single bonded F, single bonded F, single bonded F. Uh, I'm going to leave off the lone pairs on the fluorine. I have two lone pairs. How many objects do I have around krypton? I have six of them. Four fluorines, two lone pairs. That's six. And how many lone pairs do I have? I have two lone pairs, right? Two pairs. So that implies if I look under objects, six objects, I have to go to the octahedral point, uh, octahedral column on the table. Now I go down to two lone pairs and I end up with square planar. Square planar. What this looks like is the following. I have krypton. Two Fs go behind the page. Two Fs come out of the page. A lone pair on top, lone pair on the bottom. Krypton is in the center. Fluorine here, fluorine here, fluorine here, fluorine here in the shape of a square. There's also a lone pair here, a lone pair here. I've drawn it this way. Krypton is in the center. Lone pair is in the bottom, lone pair on the top. Fluorine, fluorine in front, fluorine, fluorine back, the shape of a square. Fluorine is more electronegative than krypton, so it's going to pull that direction, that direction, that direction, that direction. All of the dipole moments of the individual bonds will cancel. This is no net dipole. No net dipole. This is nonpolar. Okay. So let's see what else we've got here. What are the molecules? So we've done linear, we've done square planar, we've done seesaw, we've done bent, we've done pyramidal. It looks like we've actually covered almost all of the table. A couple of things that we didn't, but again, it's handled the same way. Draw the Lewis structure. Count the number of objects, which includes lone pairs and atoms. Find the number of objects on the table, the column. That's the general structure of it go down the column based on the number of lone pairs that are around the central atom, and that'll give you the shape of the molecule. The shape of the molecule represents the shape that the actual molecule has in space, not uh, including the lone pairs, just the atoms. This is the VSEPR model, and it's all handled the same way. Thank you for joining us here at educator.com. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.